This is the 501st ATRT, a Lego set that lives in utter infamy for being grossly oversized and nowhere near minifigure scale. But what if I told you that there was a way to fix that, and all you had to do was throw it? Okay, well, clearly that didn't exactly work. Let, 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 let me try that again. I'll, I'll throw it a little bit harder this time. You ready? Oh, still still not really seeming to, to work. Okay, just just give me another chance. I just gotta throw it harder. I, I'm giving it everything I got this time. Throwing in three, two, one. Whoa! Holy smokes, oh my gosh, look at that. I threw it so hard that relativistic effects are coming into play. And look, it just length contracted all the way down to minifigure scale. That's right. You thought that this was a Lego video, but nope. This is a physics video, baby. Specifically a physics video where you ask yourself the very important question. Exactly how hard would I have to throw the 501st ATRT before Einstein's brainchild kicks in and it has an apparent height of minifigure scale? I mean, I think that it's pretty self-evident that this is the single most important scientific question in all of history. So, I guess that we should get cracking. Okay, so for the less nerdy among you who may have not known about this, yes, anytime an object is in motion, its length changes. You would never notice this change in length on very slow objects like race cars or airplanes, but it is there. If you have a car that is exactly 10 feet long and it whizzes past you driving at 90 miles an hour, it will appear to be 9.9999999999. So yeah, theoretically, if you get it going fast enough, you can get any LEGO Star Wars ATRT to appear minifigure scale. Now, unfortunately, it does only work in one dimension. It is called length contraction and not volume reduction after all. And likewise, unless you have figured out a way to make something move with an imaginary velocity, then it can only make things shrink. So, no growing the UCS Venator to minifigure scale. But this ATRT is 100% fair game. So, how hard would you have to throw it? Well, in universe, the ATRT was 3.45 meters tall, and so if we wanted to get it down to minifigure scale, which for this video we'll just be using 145th, then we would need to length contract the Lego model all the way down to 7.667 centimeters. Right now, it's about 18 centimeters tall. Now allow me to introduce you to my friend, the length contraction equation. It doesn't bite, I promise. In fact, it's actually surprisingly friendly for this type of physics. Anyway, since we know our current length and we know our target length, and by length I mean height, we can actually rearrange this equation pretty easily to find the velocity. If we plug in our numbers, we will find that the ATRT will have an apparent height of minifigure scale at 271 million meters per second, or just a little bit over 90% the speed of light. Well, congratulations, crazy dog, I hear you say. You have successfully killed four minutes of my precious time to answer the stupidest question ever. But aha! Is it really the stupidest question ever? Do you know what's stupider than calculating how fast a LEGO ATRT would have to be moving for it to length contract down to minifigure scale? Calculating how strong you would need to be to throw it that hard in the first place! If we assume that the average adult male has about 2 meters worth of wingspan over which to throw an object, and if this 2020 501st ATRT weighs approximately 0.075 kilograms, then in order to get it moving at 90% the speed of light, you're gonna have to add 8.91 quadrillion joules of kinetic energy. Doing that over the course of 2 meters would require an average force of approximately 4.45 quadrillion newtons. As a reference, that's just a little bit shy of the gravitational force that the Earth exerts on Lake Erie. Looks like it's time to start hitting the gym. Well, thank you for making it this far into the video. I cordially invite you to subscribe if you have not already, and also you can check out some end screen content if you feel like it.